I was sitting on a, at a meeting a couple months ago and somebody was talking about some strange sewer that exists over on the, um, on the bluff in St. Paul that I had never heard of before, but it's, I mean, wildly impactful and I had never heard of it and I show property over there frequently. My name is Justin Fox. I have been a realtor for about 15 years. Had I not been in that meeting, I would have never known and wouldn't have been able to counsel my clients accordingly. So, you know, when I started, I wasn't, I was very indifferent about any kind of committee or involvement in the Realtor Association. At the beginning, it was just a way to get on the MLS because I had to, right? Um, and so, you know, as I went through the recession, right, that was a, I mean, that, that impacted everybody. There were so many um, issues that policy impacted, vacant buildings, fees. Um, you know, rental ordinances that were being written and things like that. And so individually, there's, we don't really have much of impact um, on any kind of policy. We're just a voicemail on a phone. But when you get involved with the Realtor Association, um, you are 7,000 voices. My name is Diana Allen, and I am currently the chairperson for community engagement. Until I was approached by another agent to join the diversity committee, that was the first one that I was on, I knew absolutely nothing about committees at SPAR. There's something for everyone, whether it's YPN, charitable foundation, community engagement, diversity, government affairs. You get to network with people if you're on a committee that um, is specific to something that you're passionate about. The other people that will be on that committee will also be passionate about that. And you don't have to be a million dollar seller. It's for anyone on any level to get involved and learn what's going on with INSPAR. Generally, meetings are once a month for about an hour, hour and a half, and you can do as little or as much as you want to do. Right now, I'm in addition to being on the board of directors, I'm on two committees, and I've not found that it's an interference at all. I think one of the best things uh, about being involved in the Government Affairs Committee uh, is we as realtors have a strong voice. I've had council members call me and ask me my opinion on different ordinances that they're considering. It makes me believe that they actually want to enact ordinances that will be received well. Each year through community engagement we work with bridging and we build dressers for those who otherwise may not have them. Some of these families have been homeless or they've lived in shelters, any number of reasons so it's very rewarding that we're able to provide that for them. I think realtors have a bad rap that all we do is you know do open houses and sell houses and, and you know we're just in it for the commission. Um, and when you get involved in the association and you give back to the community through volunteerism, um, that shows that we're not just leeches on the real estate transaction. We actually have value. We know things and we can share them. There are currently nine committees at SPAR, and I would like to encourage you to share your talents, your ideas, and your interests. And on top of that, you'll have a lot of fun. You need to get involved today. Go to SPAR.com, click on About, and look for committees.